yeah, the start, well, the start, actually, we went before I thought we were going to go. I thought they were going to take a bit of another turn and just got a bit caught for, for pace early on. I wanted to be towards the front and uh, didn't find myself there. So just wanted to fill in with confidence, not bustle him too much. And uh, once I was behind, I could start to see where the other horses were in front of me and start to try and picture where I wanted to be, find a bit of space. And uh, yeah, take, take your luck. So jump the first, nothing worse than retiring and ending up in the mud on the first fence. So I was happy to jump that. And then quickly just started trying to get him into rhythm, uh, fill him full of confidence. He was so far behind the pace. That was the real, uh, that was the real challenge. So yeah, so the first circuit, just trying to get into posse and just get him confident. When I rode him at Cheltenham, I felt like he needed confidence all the time. So putting the bit in his mouth so I didn't have my reins all dangly um, and then just trying to keep my leg on him and just keep asking him forward so he didn't get too behind the bit. Um, so I was always just trying to tag onto the back of them and get into, get into spaces. He doesn't really like it when, uh, when other horses crowded him out. So I was always just trying to find, find somewhere to go and uh, see if he could travel into it. Were and, you happy uh, where you were? No, <laughs> I didn't want to be there and uh, I wanted to go forward. So whenever I got the chance to go forward, tried to get him to go forward and realised I needed to get to the inner just to try and take, take some of the short, the short options when I could. You know, you can make up ground. He's actually quite a small horse, quite a nippy horse. So things like the canal turn represent a bit of an opportunity for him to just get, get to the inner and, and take a little bit, bit of ground off the others. Um, and he was incredibly neat at all of those. And just as we're going along, he's getting into a rhythm and more and more confident. And where he wasn't on the right stride, I could sit and wait for him. And he was very, very neat. The challenges with him was, was when I was asking him forward, was uh, making sure that I didn't overcommit him. And then he'd say no. And that's, that's often when you have the falls as you think you've seen a stride and the horse doesn't. And as they, the race just started to slow up in front of him, he just started to get into the race, just get into the back of them. Um, and a couple of good jumps lit him up and he actually got a really nice run through on the inner. I didn't really want to be there either, but because he was going forward and it had been a challenge to get him to go forward, I didn't want to disappoint him. So I was like, fine, go forward, get yourself running in this race and get confident. So here I managed to get myself to the inner um, and uh, just, just started traveling. But whenever you relax on him, he, he starts to drop off again. So you have to keep cajoling him, keep filling him full of confidence, keep, keep making him believe. Um, and keep believing. So he's, he's got himself actually into a nice position here, uh, just on the inner, um, in the middle of the pack. So he's, he's starting to get into his stride and enjoy it. And, uh, and I found myself on a little bit of gap on the inner. It, not really where you want to find yourself because uh, it's not the line that, that you necessarily um, have any options on. If somebody closes the gap on you, then they've got nowhere to go. But he just went forward. And uh, when he went forward, I just didn't want to disappoint him. And so he really got there a bit better than, than, than maybe I wanted him to at this point. I was, I was delighted with where he was uh, here. You went from um, being very happy to very happy within it. Well, very unhappy, really, to very happy without really having to do anything because he was jumping and starting to travel and starting to, to enjoy himself and, and feel, his, feel confident. Um, and I realised like, I, couldn't, I couldn't get left behind horses. I couldn't get trapped. Uh, so where gaps were there, I had to go forward on the gaps, try and get in there and give him some space. So actually there... Um, ended up inside uh, inside a horse, probably not strictly where you want to be. Um, so, uh, but you find yourself where you find yourself. And here, once he's uh, jumped the water, I was actually really happy with where he was. You do get a little bit of benefit on being the inside off this bend, um, and uh, and so I was happy just to to hug the bend, get a toe back into the back through the. Uh, start line of the national proper and now you're starting to think about a race and uh, starting to think about where you are what's in front of you he really enjoyed it like he's a horse which as long as you kept the revs up kept him going forward he <laughs> didn't jump that one as long as you kept the revs up and kept him going forward he was really neat and you could sit and wait and find a nice neat stride he's a horse you don't want to ask too much for so that was the little bit the balance of, of making sure you go forward and not let the revs drop out while also uh, keeping in the race so I mean he, he, he jumped it I mean dare I say a bit like tiger roll like knee and low and, and economically which is which is that is exactly what you want from the horse and uh, here this is uh, coming down uh, towards beaches so in a really happy posse bit on the inner thinking a uh, bit of a brave man's route here but uh, yeah you've got a horse you trust 
you've got to take some risk at this stage and I could just afford to keep flinging him up, being neat um, and making him believe in himself. And I really felt like he was horse every time I could just put, put the bit in his mouth, squeeze him with my legs and, and make him feel I was there for him and, and could fill him with a bit of confidence. And he could fill me with a bit of confidence, which allowed me to just be quiet on him when he got to a fence. I could trust him. Um, and this line of fences, you know, he's just jumped absolutely impeccably. He made one actually little peck, uh, not this one, I think the next one. And uh, he was brave to, brave to find a foot, uh, keep himself upright. And, and now he's, he's got a bit of space. I was really happy here, but then we all compressed again. Uh, which wasn't ideal. So here, like there, he made a little bit of a nod. Uh, here, he's actually in a good, good spot, nice pocket, bit of space. But then, as everyone condenses up again, he just started to get behind the bit. So I, going to the, uh, going to the final turn, actually was having to like ask him a bit more, give him a good kick, give him a squeeze, make sure that he really had the conviction that he was going to go forward and do it. Um, and uh, here, this isn't really where I wanted to be. I was happy to have a lead, but I loved a bit more space. It wasn't there, and I knew I wanted the inner because the inner actually counts for a lot off this, uh, off this thing. And actually, when we walked the course yesterday, I was talking to Alice about you can sometimes get a bit of a catapult off the inner um, if so your horse is in the right place. What's going through your head now? You've just crossed the melee, the melee road. Steady, steady. I knew he was going well. I thought he had plenty in him, but for a second, he just started backing out of it again. And so I, like here, I'm actually asking a bit more than I really wanted to. And as an amateur bit going, I hope my legs don't run out on me here. Uh, you know, you're going over four miles. Um, you're sitting right in the pocket. You're trying to fill your horse up. And uh, they just opened up here for me, which was, which was very lucky, but uh, gave me a chance to, to go to the front. He's actually cruised there nicely. And then here, it was just a moment between the second last and the last, not to ask too much. I could feel the other horse trying to get a run through the, the middle of the two of us. Didn't want that to happen. So just... Uh, tried to make sure that the gap gap wasn't too obvious for, for the other horse. I think it's that Delta Works to go through over the, last um, over the last fence. And then here, you know, I've always thought you don't, you don't want to ask too much too early here. Um, get on the bend and then use your weight to try and get your horse on the other leg. He didn't actually change leg for me. And then here it's, 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 uh, it's glory or bust. All go, all kick, How all are you heart. physically feeling after four miles? Four miles ah, like you're so full of adrenaline, you're so full of a buzz and uh, you can't believe it and could go round and do it again. It's Noble Yates under Sal Welly going. A fairy tale end to his career. Noble Yates has won the national. This is the Randox Grand National. The world is watching.